Welcome to DW Shorts, weekly digital policy news brought to you by the Digital Watch Observatory, DIG.watch. Who would have thought Twitter's unverified and paid blue tick account would cause chaos? Actually, a lot of people, but not Elon Musk, apparently. It has only been a few weeks since Twitter changed its blue check policy to why verify who you are? Just pay us $8 a month and get a blue check. And now we have our first related major disinformation incident. A verified account called Bloomberg Feed shared a seemingly AI-generated image of an explosion near the Pentagon, which was in turn shared by other official news accounts with thousands of followers, including a TV station in India. Stay tuned for what's next in Musk's Twitter land. Meta receives record fine by Irish Data Protection Authority. The primary regulatory authority of most top global tech giants based in the EU has fined Facebook's parent company Meta a record 1.2 billion euro, which is 1.3 billion USD. The fine came after Meta's mishandling of user data and its continued data transfer to the United States, violating an EU court ruling. The Irish DPA warned that this court ruling could set a precedent for other firms. South Korea asks the U.S. to review new chip-making rules. Leading chip-maker and major investor in the U.S. chip sector, South Korea asked the United States to review the rule that prevents U.S. funding recipients from building new facilities in other countries beyond 5% of their existing capacity. As the United States evaluates the China rule, the outcome will have implications for the global semiconductor landscape, not just South Korean chip makers. In short, tensions continue to rise in the semiconductor industry as countries vie for dominance. Ending this week's DW Shorts with an AI update. The FTC issues policy statement against biometric data misuse through AI. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission issued a policy statement highlighting the risks of biometric data misuse through AI, emphasizing the potential threats to privacy, civil rights, and the unlawful handling of such data, since they can reveal sensitive personal information about health, religion, or political affiliation based on location. The FTC also warned that deepfakes could allow bad actors to convincingly impersonate individuals in order to commit fraud or to defame or harass the individuals depicted. Check out other important updates on our website, dig.watch. Brought to you by the Digital Watch international team of curators. Don't forget to subscribe to Diplo's YouTube channel for more DW Shorts and other videos on digital policy, diplomacy, AI, and overall digital governance. Thanks for watching and see you next time with more digital policy news that matter to us all.